Hello, I am Dr. Sangeetha Gomes, Consultant Obstetrics, Gynecology and Infertility, Bangalore, India. Pap smear. It's a test done to look for changes in the cells of the cervix. In this procedure, the cells from the mouth of the cervix is scraped, applied onto a slide and it's fixed with a spray and then sent to the lab for analysis of the type of the cells. If this pap smear is usually done yearly for all sexually active women and once 3 to 4 smears are normal consecutive years then it is done once in 4 to 5 years. Type of results in the pap smear can be as ascus, l cell, h cell and squamous cell carcinoma. Coming to the l cell, l cell is low grade squamous intraepithelial lesion which means mild cervical dysplasia and not cancer. Therefore, repeat the smear after 6 months. Here the policy is to wait and watch. Ideally, these reports becomes normal within 6 months to 1 year. But we have to also do the HPV testing to look for number 16 and 18. This HPV virus 16 and 18 is usually associated with cervical cancer. So if you have a L-cell report associated with HPV positive, then you need to monitor the patient closely, probably repeat a smear after 6 months. And if the same findings are there, then we can go for colposcopy. Colposcopy is a procedure wherein you introduce a microscope into the vagina looking at the cervix by staining it with some special items and some abnormal areas or suspicion areas are biopsied. The other conditions where you can have this sort of report that is L-cell is in inflammatory conditions and atrophic vaginitis. Ideally, 12 to 16 percent of this mild cervical dysplasias go to severe dysplasia. If the dysplasia progresses, then certain treatments can be given like cryosurgery, cone biopsy or leap or laser ablation. Therefore, prevention is better than cure. So, you get yourself vaccinated with HPV virus vaccine which is available now in the market. It's usually given in the dose of 0, 2 and 6 months. But for young girls, only 2 doses are sufficient.